The mini projector is a handy little way to project videos onto your bedroom wall via either your iPod or your iPhone, but it's not just compatible with Apple's Wonder products. It will also beam VGA video and images from a range of devices, including Blackberries, DVD players, and your PC using the AV in, VGA, or USB ports. It's pretty lightweight, therefore conveniently portable, and it's really easy to use as well. Just open it up and slot your iDevice in or plug in the appropriate cables and project your favorite videos and images onto any flat surface up to 70 inches wide. There's a fully adjustable focus, touch sensitive buttons to control volume, brightness and output. There's a remote control as well as a handy little kickstand to perch it nice and comfortably for the best viewing angle. Now I must warn you, although colour reproduction is good, unfortunately the milli projector just doesn't emit enough light, so it can only really be used in almost complete darkness. Now it was never going to rival any high-end projectors, and in actual fact it doesn't do a bad job. Image quality is decent for what it is, and despite sometimes looking a bit grainy with little detail, it will certainly be enough to take in a short video or bore your friends, I mean show off your holiday snaps to your friends. Now I'm sure you've noticed the distorted images, but I can assure you this won't happen when viewing your multimedia, as it's just a bit of camera interference. It's also got built-in 2 watt speakers, which are surprisingly loud. You're watching Stuff.tv, and I've also got this month's Stuff magazine, which you should definitely go out and buy. But they won't overpower a noisy room, so if you want more from your audio, you could always hook it up to a more powerful set of speakers in an attempt to emulate that cinematic experience. But to keep the audio to yourself, you can always plug in a pair of headphones via the 3.5mm jack. A full charge will give it around two hours of playback, plus it will also charge whatever's plugged into it as well. So the milli projector is great for impromptu movie nights, even organised ones, photo slideshows, or perhaps whacking that PowerPoint presentation up on the wall. Now understandably, output quality depletes the wider the image gets, and video and images aren't exactly what you'd call sharp, but they are watchable, at least for around a couple of hours or so, before your eyes are going to really want to see something of better quality. But it's not a bad way to give your multimedia the big screen treatment without the massive price tag.